I am tracking some unsettled weather which will arrive on Tuesday, but tomorrow should be just great. Actually a little warmer than what we had today. Today's high temperatures in the mid 70s going for around 80 tomorrow. Now you'll notice it's a tad more humid tomorrow, but nothing really that uncomfortable with the sunshine out for a good part of the day. Then there's Tuesday and there are two primary risks I'm watching. I think the much better chance would be to see some localized street flooding. I'll put you in the medium category for that. And then a much lower risk of wind damage. So I do not think we'll see what we saw last Tuesday. We simply don't have the ingredients to give us a lot of that wind damage from those thunderstorms. Of course, things could change and Michelle will be looking at additional data. You can catch her tomorrow starting at 430 in the morning. Now, how about rainfall? Well, thanks for asking, and I'm anticipating a widespread half an inch to about two inches of rain. There are some isolated spots which could receive over two inches. That's the thing when we have these systems with a tremendous amount of moisture. It's very hard to pinpoint exactly which location will get those heavier rainfall amounts, but definitely something to watch as that humid air mass is coming all the way down from the Gulf of Mexico. Now, right now it's dry, clear on live pinpoint Doppler 12. We take you into future cast mode. And as I just mentioned, a nice day tomorrow, perhaps just a few increasing clouds during the afternoon. If we do get a sprinkle, it would be very isolated and most likely in the northern part of the state, perhaps around Pasco, Burville. But uh, again, most of us not seeing that. And then there's Tuesday to talk about. All right, now the early part of the Tuesday morning commute looks like it remains rain free. And then we go into the late morning. This is after eight or nine in the morning when the best chance of those thunderstorms and downpours will be moving on through. And then some of these could spill into the early afternoon, perhaps into the Tuesday evening commute. I was mentioning the humidity. You do notice that tomorrow just a little bit around 61 on average. So that is an increase over what we saw today. You'll notice it a little bit more at the coast. If you're hanging out in Scarborough Beach, maybe dew points in the low to mid 60s, but it's not until Tuesday where we bring those dew points into the upper 60s. That gets borderline uncomfortable and that mugginess sticks around for Wednesday as well before finally leaving us. Uh, during the back half of the week. Right now, temperatures are uh, cool in Coventry, 59 degrees, 59 under at 62 in Newport. That system from today continues to depart. It did bring us a few showers and some clouds earlier. Those will move to the east and then system number two will take its place. This one coming in from the west that will scoop up some moisture and give us those showers on Tuesday. But not tomorrow. Looking good tomorrow. 80 around 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Mostly sunny and then some of those cumulus clouds build up from the middle to the later part of the afternoon. At the coast, it's a little cooler because those breezes coming in out of the south from the middle to the later part of the afternoon. So look for 74 in westerly. Newport Jamestown around 75 and 75 in New Bedford as well. A nice beach day, mostly sunny temperatures in the mid 70s, a little breezy in the afternoon, but really not too bad. And you'll notice in the seven day future cast, I leave in the chance of some showers and storms on Wednesday, but this will not be like Tuesday. If they happen to materialize, they'll pop up quickly and then leave quickly. So most of Wednesday is actually rain free. And then Thursday and Friday, humidity drops a little bit, very comfortable, low to mid 80s with mostly sunny skies. And then there will be a chance of some showers and thunderstorms as we go into Saturday with high temperatures in the low to mid 80s. But of course, Saturday, many days away, Jared. So a lot could change until we actually get to that Saturday time frame. Of course, you can take the forecast with you on our mobile app. You can download that at WPRI.com, but at least to start the work week, a pretty nice day for tomorrow. And of course, stay with us as Pete said, as we focus in on Tuesday and the data can become even clearer, right? Absolutely. Yeah, we'll be looking at more data overnight. Michelle will be in tomorrow morning with that. Great, Pete, thanks so much. Still to come this evening, it is winter in some parts of our globe, but could global warming be to blame for some